Hi, I want to welcome you to our June 2020 Rejoicing Spirits online service. Uh, you may be watching this on a DVD or on our YouTube channel. If you're on the YouTube channel and would like a DVD, just let us know and we'll be happy to send you one so you can watch this over and over again and worship with us again and again. So what's going on here at First Presbyterian Church? Well, um, what's going on is that all of our worship services are online, and we probably won't be having a Rejoicing Spirits service uh, for a considerable period of time, probably until 2021. And we're doing this to keep everyone safe, because as you know, our Rejoicing Spirit services are, uh, we make lots of noise, we move around, uh, there's no social distancing, we're all packed in together. And so to keep everyone safe, it'll probably be 2021 until we are back together. But we will continue to produce these services and get them out to you so that you can worship at home or wherever you are. It's time now to learn our phrase. Our phrase is Jesus welcomes all. Hi, everyone. The sign phrase this time is Jesus welcomes all. Jesus welcomes all. Jesus welcomes all. The first sign is the sign for Jesus, and we've done this one a lot, so you likely already know it. But just in case, the sign Jesus starts with your hands in front of you, uh, palms facing each other, and the middle finger of one hand gently taps the open palm of your opposite hand. That's the sign for Jesus. The sign for welcomes. The sign for welcome starts with your hands out in front of you, palms facing up, and your hands just gently sweep back towards your waist and your palms stay up the whole time. That's the sign for welcomes. Sometimes you might see it with one hand, but most of the time you'll see it with both hands and that's how we'll do it for this phrase. The sign for all. The sign for all can be done a lot of different ways as well, but the way that we're going to do it for this phrase is like this. Starting right where you ended up with your palms facing up, towards, close in towards your body, you're just simply going to move away from your body and out. It's almost just like you're gesturing to all the people who might be in the room. All. So let's put it together. The sign for Jesus, starting with your hands in front of you, palms facing each other. Jesus welcomes. Your hands start out, palms up in front of you, and your hands just sweep back towards your body welcomes. The sign for all. You're going to start exactly where you just ended and your hands are going to sweep out and away. All. Let's try it a couple more times. Jesus welcomes all. One more time. Jesus welcomes all. You've got it. Now it's time to get prepared for worship. Um, if you've got a Bible, if you've got a candle, uh, put the Bible on the table, uh, light the candle. If not, just enjoy the Bible we have on the screen and the candle we have on the screen. And just take a moment to prepare your hearts to worship God. Now, let's call ourselves to worship. The Bible tells us that Jesus welcomes all. A woman and her daughter learned that Jesus welcomes all. The world is better when we know that Jesus welcomes all. Now let's sing, Jesus Loves Me. We've come to the time in our service when it's time for our prayer of confession, when we tell God we're sorry. And let's uh, participate as Terry Cheney leads us in that prayer. 
Let's pray together. Gracious God, sometimes we think that we are too important or too busy to welcome others. Forgive us. Help us to know in our hearts how much you love us. Help us to pass your love along to others by being welcoming all of the time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, our skit today, our puppet video, comes from Matthew 25. It's a story of parents who bring their children to be blessed by Jesus and what happens. And in our story, there will be a woman and her daughter who want that to happen. So let's watch. Have you ever gone somewhere and just felt like nobody wanted you there? Like you just weren't welcome. I'll bet it didn't feel good. As we'll learn today, making people feel welcome was very important to Jesus, a lesson he worked very hard to teach his followers. Let's watch as some new puppet friends, Sarah and her daughter Abigail, leave their village in Galilee for the day to see if they can meet with and be welcomed by Jesus. Let's watch. Mom! sure this is a good idea. I thought you were very excited to meet the teacher we've heard so much about. I'm really excited, but well, you know how it is with busy people. They don't have time, especially for women and children, and we don't know anyone to, you know, get us in. I'm afraid we'll get there and just get sent away. Oh no, sweetie, I'm sure that won't happen. We've met the teacher's followers, and they were very nice and welcoming and very excited to share. Besides, I just want the teacher to give you a quick blessing. That's not asking a lot. I want you to be able to say that you met the teacher and tell your grandchildren the story. I sure hope you are right, Mom. Hey, you with the kid. Where do you think you are going? Oh, hey, you must be one of the teacher's followers. I'd really like my child to meet the teacher. Maybe he could bless her. I'm sure that... The teacher doesn't have time for that. He has so much teaching to do and healing to do and... Peter, what's going on? Teacher... I'm trying to help you by making sure that people won't waste your time. This woman and her daughter wanted a blessing, but I knew that you were too busy for that. You have much more important things to do than to bless a little girl. Peter, let the child and her mother come here. You need to remember that God loves all of us, and one of the ways to show that is to welcome everyone. Remember that God welcomes everyone because everyone is very important to God. Because God has welcomed us, we get to pass that welcome along to everyone all the time. So Jesus gave Abigail a big hug, put his hand on her head, and blessed her. He made them, their parents, and everyone else know how much God welcomes by his actions. His followers, including Abigail and Sarah, saw and remembered and left this story to teach us to welcome like Jesus did. Great story, wasn't it? So now let's 
think about the story. What did the mother and the daughter want from Jesus? Think about it. That's right. They didn't just want to see Jesus from far away. They wanted Jesus to bless their daughter. And blessing is this wonderful thing that happens when a, a teacher places his hand on a child's or an adult's head and asks God to be with them and bless them and take care of them. And that's all that they wanted. Now, when they got there, something got in their way. Why do you think the disciple tried to stop them from going up to Jesus? Think about it. You probably got it right. And that is, the disciple thought, well, maybe Jesus was too busy. Maybe Jesus had more important things to do than bless a child. What, though, was Jesus' response to what the disciple did? That's right. Jesus told him to let the child come, the child and her mother. Why? Because Jesus welcomes all. Because Jesus wanted to bless that child because that child was a child of God. Jesus wasn't too busy. Jesus didn't have more important things to do because he thought that was the most important thing that he should be doing, and that was blessing children and blessing adults. Has there ever been a time when you have felt unwelcomed? How did that feel? There have been plenty of times when I haven't felt all that welcomed, and it's, and it's not fun. It feels uncomfortable and sad. Has there ever been a time when you have felt welcomed? How did that feel? It feels great, doesn't it? It, it feels like you're unique and special, that, that you really do matter. Do you feel Jesus welcoming you? I hope so. Because Jesus' arms are always wide open. Jesus always wants to welcome us, bless us. Jesus always wants to remind us of just how special we are to Him and to God. And so whenever we go to God in prayer and we pray in Jesus' name, Jesus is there welcoming us. Jesus is there reaching his hand out to bless us. It is a wonderful gift to know that Jesus welcomes all. And now let's respond by singing. Now is our time for prayer. We're going to do it a little differently this time. I'm going to say who we're going to be praying for, and then you guys pray. So, gracious God, hear us as we pray for ourselves. Hear us as we pray for our families. Hear us as we pray for our friends. Hear us as we pray for the world. Now, hear us as we pray and sing the Lord's Prayer.
We're glad you are with us at this Rejoicing Spirit service. And may God's blessing through Jesus go with you because Jesus welcomes all people. Jesus welcomes all of us. We're always welcome in his presence because to Jesus we are all special and we all matter. Go now in peace. Thank you.